In the readings for the third Sunday of cycle B in Easter, we meet people struggling to accept that Jesus Christ had risen from the dead. They are being invited on a journey of repentance, that is, to understand in a new way how God relates with us. In the first reading, Peter speaks to the Jews and tells them that it was the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob and their ancestors who raised Jesus from the dead, but it was they, the Israelites, who had him betrayed and crucified. However, what happened was God's plan for salvation and this they did not understand. They are now called to repent, that is, change their ways and in the light of Jesus' resurrection, accept that God is with them in ways they had not considered. The disciples too find the resurrection of Jesus from the dead hard to believe and accept. The two disciples who had met Jesus on the way to Emmaus and recognized him when he broke the bread, had returned to Jerusalem and explained to their colleagues what had happened. Then Jesus appeared in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Even though the disciples had been told Jesus was alive, and it had only been three days since he died, they did not recognize him when he appeared to them. They were frightened and thought he was a ghost. Jesus' death and resurrection had changed him, but his presence among them was a reality. He showed them his hands and feet and invited them to touch him. While this filled them with joy, they still could not believe what was happening in their presence. To convince them, he asked for something to eat and they gave him a piece of grilled fish which he took and ate before their eyes. Through these simple signs, the disciples overcame their doubts and were able to receive the gifts which enabled them to understand the scriptures and know that Jesus had to suffer and on the third day would rise from the dead and that repentance and forgiveness would be preached in Jesus' name to all nations. Just like the Israelites whom Peter had addressed, the disciples were also called to repentance. Their unbelief was an obstacle to making known the news of Jesus' resurrection from the dead. Before they could become witnesses of the resurrection, they needed to repent. That is, accept that God communicates with us as he sees best, not as we would wish. They needed to understand how God in his infinite mercy and wisdom wants to love us. Jesus patiently and gently helped the disciples to repent. That is, come to a new understanding of his mission life, death and resurrection. They began to see events from God's perspective and were able to embrace the future with confidence. It took time and patience to overcome their incredulity. It is the same with us. Our lack of belief, faith, poor attention and ways of life are big obstacles to accepting the resurrection and God's love for humanity. We find it hard to talk about our faith and share it with others. Faith is regarded as something private, but it is in sharing our faith that it grows. We find it hard to accept the cross. What kind of God would ask his only son to undergo a crucifixion? Work, entertainment, social media and social activities, all good things, but they leave us with no time for God. We have become inattentive to the ways of God. God longs for our attention, our time and our love. He longs for us to live in the freedom of his truth. Our task is to allow God to open our minds and hearts so that we, like the disciples, can receive the gift of his love and become witnesses to the resurrection of the world. Lord, we give thanks to you for your infinite patience and love for us. Guide us to open our hearts and minds to your spirit. Bless us so that we can make your joy and love visible in our world. We trust 
that Mary, your mother and our mother, will always intercede for us as she did for the young couple at Cana. Amen. Amen.